Welcome back to the Bourbon Rendezvous, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Big Stick. Let's get us a pour. Bourbon Rendezvous, and tonight we're going to be talking about Big Stick Bourbon, and I have a special guest tonight, Mrs. Rendezvous. This is Bridget. Hi. She'll join us from time to time on our adventures through bourbon. Um, so, what's going on? Not much, just enjoying you. And you look really fancy tonight. Thank you. Yeah, you changed. We I went did. on a date night. We had a date night. You know, we don't, well, for a, we kind of go in spurts, like sometimes... It'll be like a, a few months, like, and we're like, gosh, you know, and we like steak, so we're like, we really want a steak, and I don't want to cook it, so, it, you know, and our daughter doesn't like steak, so like, hello, date night, so. Date night, exactly, and we still ended up not with steak, but we ended up with steak fajitas, so kind of the same thing, and right? It's a huge shrimp. That's really oh, the shrimp are really, really good. True story. And so, um. Tonight we're going to be talking about Big Stick Bourbon. They're actually locally owned, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Katy, Texas, and they um, they started up in January 2020 um, with their first batch of bottles that they got out. Didn't even go to liquor stores. They went to I can't say it, so I'm not even going to try. But there's some sushi store here in Houston or sushi restaurant, um, and they delivered it to them, and they were their first partnership. Since then, they've started popping up a lot of other places. Interesting thing about this was that on the back of the bottle, it says that it's uh, produced and bottled Jacksonville, Florida. And I, that kind of threw me for a loop. Um, so I messaged all, off to the guys over there at Big Stick and they answered me back and they said that initial bottling run, all of the staves that they put in here are done in Katy, Texas, but the initial bottling run was done in Jacksonville and they are bringing that back to Texas now that they're fully set up. So the big thing about Big Stick here um, is that it has a charred oak stave in the bottle. And so basically, if we leave this bottle sitting on the sh shelf, which we've actually let it sit for a few months already. I swear that thing has gotten darker. It it, gets, I wish we had taken a picture. If any of you get this, take a picture the day you buy it, if, unless you're going to drink it right then. But I, I mean, obviously... I mean, you just, you're just curious to know what it's going to look like after a while, you know. And I'm telling you, this, it, I swear it's darker. Much darker. It like does look much, much darker. darker. Like, it, it is aged in the bottle because of the stave. So. And I know that people have done, like, uh, staves in their own bourbons and stuff like this. I think that they, I, the guy, one of the guys that is the owner is an engineer. And he, like, did all the calculations as far as surface volume to compare it to what, the whiskey's actually exposed to in the barrel um, and came out with this was the right size and the right length and all of that stuff. Um, so it is actually aging. Um, I think we should open it up. I hope it's good because I haven't let me try this forever. So we've what got an is interesting, that? Is that, okay. we've got an interesting uh, bottle top here. It did not have cork, so it didn't have cork pop. Um, but what, okay, I've never seen anything like that before. Let's get is there started. a reason for that? Yeah, I think that's to actually allow it to pour properly with the stave in there so that it doesn't get blocked up or anything. And... What does it look like on top? It's just got a couple of holes. Okay. we poured I know, we poured that. So, um, okay. so okay, so we're going to get back into this and... Um, actually, now that I've got it in the Glencairn, it's looking a little bit light. It looks really dark in the bottle, but I'm seeing that it's really kind of light. Mm -hmm. I think we should go in and you take know, a smell. I have to say... Mm -hmm. What do you get? I'm getting... Good or... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm getting like a... It's really good. Man, you know when you smell it, it's like... That's gonna be good. I'm getting like a cream soda smell. Do you get that? Let's see. I'm, like, I'm new to, I'm not new to bourbon, but I'm new to describing, which is what you, you guys are after. No, but then, you know, that's what I, I like about listening to you, because when we try stuff at home. <laughs> I see some weird things. You come up with the weirdest stuff, but it makes sense, and you're like, 
yeah, that is what it is. Okay, I have to, I feel bad to say this, but um, you know, most of my bourbon I drink with Coke. Okay, I'm not ashamed of it. I just say it. I, I, I usually a little bit of ice and probably about that much or maybe I um, can't tell. And I have a special little glass that I like it in, and 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 then I drink with with Coke. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm I'm gonna have to practice this. Um, <laughs> You know, you know what? Me, it's kind of funny because I have seen a lot of uh, bourbon snobs and they're like, oh, don't put anything with my good whiskey or with my good bourbon. Um, most of the bourbon community that I've been exposed to has been drink what you like, with how you like, with who you like, when you like. And, and you know I'm what? It makes that. sense because you know what? You're paying for it. So if I go buy a $150 Which bottle of bourbon and want to mix Coke with it, so what? Right. That's how I like it. Me too. You know, the, uh, the, the distillery is still happy. You and I can still have a drink. Yeah. What's it to them? Why do they care? Who cares? Yeah. I agree. I'm the same thing with wine, and, and I really don't know anything about wine. Wine is not my forte. Oh, I do not. I rarely even like wine. Yeah. I mean, even they're really expensive, and it's such a shame when it's expensive. It's a shame. I would, yeah. I'm, all I can think of is I sure wish that money would have been spent on bourbon. <laughs> I can tell you some good bourbon I like. That's I mean, right. actually, okay, I might not be good at describing bourbon, like the smell of it, but um, I'm gonna get better at it. But but. Um, so what's on the nose? What are you smelling? Anyway, um, let me see. I'm getting a. I'm just getting like cream soda. It's really weird. I know it's not gonna taste like cream soda, but I normally don't get that off of a bourbon. Hmm. You're not really thinking it. You're getting an oak. It would make I sense mean, if you're getting some oak. It sounds like what everybody oak. says, like oh, leather, wood, tobacco, like herbs. Like, I mean. Yeah, but what kind of leather? Are we talking about boot leather? Or are we talking about like belt leather? Like glove leather. Like baseball, baseball glove. <laughs> baseball. <laughs> when, when is baseball coming back? Like a, Come on, like guys. A, like a smell of a brand new belt. Like. Mm -hmm. You know, like a genuine leather boot, uh, like a nice belt, or like, well, it's all leather. Yeah, it's yeah. all a purse, or like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Leather jacket? I don't know. All right, let's take a sip. Mm, man, I can already tell this is going to be good. It's about, what is it? Um, the big stick, I think, is 95 proof, so it's not overly proofy. It's like perfect. It's like, you know? it's like right water, I like it. Got a little bit of heat to it, right up front. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but it does have a good palate on it. It's like, I don't know, like, mm. it's sweet. It's still good. Um, like sometimes it's a burn. Like, oh god, I don't like this at all. Like, wow. But it's not like that. It is a little burn. And actually, some people really like a burn. Like they like that. Um. But the smell is a caramely, like leathery, like 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 a good bourbon, like so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's caramel. almost like you can excuse the burn. Like like I don't I don't like burn, but um. That burn actually helps develop that that palate a little bit at the end. It just kind of kind of expands. Here, okay. here's your here's your. I'm cup. a Coke connoisseur. Let me just. I, <laughs> I, I'm not. I am ashamed of that. That's sad. It's not good for you. So pour this in there. Yeah, go ahead. Let's pour it in. I don't know if that's the right ratio. But... It'd probably be good enough. Okay. Should I mix it for yourself? <laughs> and actually, when I, truth be told, this is where I prefer. Um, got a round, spherical, clear ice cube and a little bit of ice. That's how, yeah, that's how I like mine. Usually, but okay. You need some more? Because actually, maybe it's because of the shape of this glass, but actually, if I had my regular glass, I need my old trusty. It's a crown royal. I, that was before <laughs> I mean, I mean, I like crown royal. Okay. So, um, so you were saying you, you have a special glass you like? And I don't just, know what it is. I actually I happen just, to have it here. I love this glass. Like, and I'm going to make a mess, so I'm going to do this over I don't here. want any, like... 
And I don't, you know, we have plenty of other glasses. I just like that one. I've always liked that one. There's your glass. And you know, I'm just Magically not, appears. Oh uh, yeah, and it perfectly fit too. Yeah, it did. And, okay, whoa. Okay, and another thing, probably when you poured it. Mm hmm it mixed it. Yes, that's what it was. Oh my gosh, How's yeah. it tasting now? Amazing. Um, oh wow, so I think what I normally do is just put cubes of ice, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I just like what I like. Okay, I'm the, I'm the ice snob here. I insisted on getting the, the mold with the clear, the directional freezing and get the clear ice cubes. And you pay like, and I know it probably wasn't, it wasn't really that much, but I'm like, for ice cubes? Oh my God. <laughs> hey, what, like, there's some guys out there, dollars? there's some guys out there that go and buy refrigerators that do these sphere uh, cubes. Oh, so I know. I, it's crazy. I, I'm like, actually, that was actually a really cool, that was actually a good buy. I mean, it's given him so much joy. <laughs> he, <laughs> I'm not even lying. I love it. So, but, um, any, okay, but my, my point is, um, because my other, I, I think there's like more surface area to melt, and I think maybe it's because I like it with a little bit of water, water, I don't just know. Just a little bit of water that opens it up, sure. But, but now that this has melted just a little bit, it's perfect. So another thing about the Big Stick, just to get back on track a little bit here, mm. Big Stick is veteran owned. Um, one of the owners is a former Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel. Um, I guess we don't say that they're a former Marine. They're always a Marine, once Marine. So um, that's where the the um, the concept came from. That they're that five percent of their proceeds, not their profits, but they said from the very beginning when they were making this and selling it, uh, their proceeds five percent were going to military charities. Um, I did have some question about the, I think I mentioned that I, I reached out to the guys at Big Stick to find out about the, the Jacksonville versus Texas thing. And um, they did say that they had just recently made a large donation to the PTSD Foundation. Um, I want to say that's probably in Houston, if they made it here in Houston, probably Camp Hope, which is uh, a fantastic charity. Um, you can call Camp Hope, and, uh, and I'll put the number in the video here. Uh, to Camp Hope for any veterans that need help because when you call Camp Hope you're going to get a combat veteran that's going to talk to you and you know what those guys are the ones that actually understand what's going on so you were yeah, making, I was reading, something? yeah, Semper Fi brand. I was reading all of it, then I got to the bottom. Semper Fi brands, it's not just a name, it's a way of life. And I was just thinking, like, oh my God, that would be such a great gift for a Marine. Absolutely. Or, or any any member of the military, but like a Marine would like, A Marine's absolutely going to get the Semper Fi be... connection. And of course, um, being that, that um, the, one of the owners was a is a retired... And the, Lieutenant Colonel. And the proceeds absolutely. go to, I mean, there's like a brotherhood there. I know that because of your cousin, Jason. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, um, yeah, that's all awesome. That's awesome about that. So, so and I was just going to say that also, like, we were talking about smell doesn't always mean, I mean, I like to smell it and savor it. Um, I mean, we, frankly, we spend too much money on bourbon to not savor it. I mean, I don't chug it down. If that's your thing. Then chug it down, That's whatever. That's right, if you're gonna chug it, <laughs> you can buy whatever you want, but they do have Jack Daniels number seven for people who like to chug, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe <laughs> even cheaper than that, but but um, what was I gonna say? Um, mm. Mm. That's it's so very good. good. You were talking about mixing it with Coke and it still, it, it enhances your experience, so. But you've come a long way having joined up in the bourbon realm with me Initially, like in the Woodford Reserve Double Oak and the and the uh, Old Forester 1910, well, the sweeter actually, stuff. We actually started with um, Buffalo Trace, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, Bullet. Yeah. And then you oh, and then you got Eagle Rares. Oh, Eagle Rare was a special oh pickup. Yeah. You know, and then you got and then you got some smoke wagons and and then we watched some videos and then there that's and then we would get like um, suggestions of other things and that's when I really. Yeah, I really started expanding. So she did, yeah. And yeah. and even liking some of the more some of the more proofy stuff, like yeah. the bunkers at 128, oh, and, the, so good. and the rise, uh, the the Alberta Premium rise in the 125 oh, range, I think. That is and on you a still whole love that, other so. level. 
Man, yeah. that's good. So maybe we'll do some reviews so, of those and you can come on for those videos too. But, uh, so. Yeah, but the smell, like I was going to say also, like the smell, like uh, still Austin to me, tends to doesn't have a weird. smell. It doesn't have a smell, but it's very good. Uh, it's very, very good. Yeah. It doesn't have a smell. Yeah. And then, um, and then uh, what was it, Garrison Brothers? It smells wonderful. It smells wonderful. I've mentioned like, that in my videos before. I'm not, mm -mm. not a big fan. Not a big oh, did fan. you tell him what I said? No. About <laughs> that's got to be my most creative. Like, I wasn't even trying to be creative. To me, if you are from Texas, or maybe maybe other, it doesn't have to just be Texas, but um, like old old dance halls. Like I'm thinking, Kashadi dance hall, or like out in Green, Texas, or. It's one of those old, the smell of that wood floor is sort of what I taste in it. And I, I, you just have to know that smell to know what I mean. But I have a feeling there are people out there who know what I mean. It's just, it's a very unique smell. Very, like a really old dance hall or uh, church, uh, what do you call it? The little recreation center next to it, like a really old, like old Catholic church or something. I'm I'm just thinking of the smell of the um the the old church the church where we used to have family reunions. They ended up tearing it down, but that's I still remember that smell. When I smelled Garrison Miller, I was like, that's kind of takes you back. That tastes just like yeah. that. But, but it, taste wasn't there. I don't care. The nose really, experience was I don't there. Know the taste what, wasn't. I want to like it because it's from Texas. You know, yeah. I really wanted to like that one. Plus, you well, know, it's not cheap. But. This one, this one <laughs> but, is. From Texas, and yeah. not only that, right here where we're it's at. It's a star. So I think it's a big star. So, all right, cool. All right, but a while ago, I was asking you about that top. I wonder if that's to aerate it because I noticed when I was pouring it, it was like not like your normal chug. Yeah, it's everything. a little different. So it's got a couple of holes in it. Should probably ask him about that. Yeah, because that's very unique. Yeah, it's a unique uh, feel. Look, um, I did. How much did you pay for this? I want to say this this is right at $70 for this bottle. $70? Yeah, I want to say it was right at $70. I, mean, I know that the great. footprint for this where you can get it is getting bigger and bigger. It's all over Florida. It's all over a lot of the southern states. Um, Florida, Georgia, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's starting to expand. I just wonder how dark it could possibly get. Like, That's what I, I kind of want to buy another get one to the point where and just like, let it oh, sit, you know? I know. I wish we would have taken pictures. Like, for yeah. sure, if you buy this, take pictures, if you're going to hold on to it for a while. That might be the one thing that I would um, recommend to the big stick guys to uh, put a, put a, a bottle date on it. Well, there's yeah, no bottle great, date on really it. That's a really good idea. Right now. And so if you don't know how long it's been aging. Your own, like, yeah, you can put it on there. Like, we could put it on there when we bought it, but we don't know when it actually got bottled. Oh, right. So we don't know how long that stave has been in there giving it flavor. It's... It is fantastic. It's really good. On the on the, the tasting, I didn't really talk about tasting notes. Um, I'm not getting that um, cream soda that I smell, but no. I, I'm getting a lot of your traditional bourbon taste. I got yeah. brown sugar and some yes. some uh, baking spices, and maybe even just a what do they say? I usually say licorice. I hear them always say anise. Licorice? So maybe just a tiny bit of that. Just the woodsy, oaky taste. Which yeah. is always what, that's a good, I mean, obviously. Yeah, that's why we drink bourbon, we like the oak. The oak, but it's yeah. like a good, so even if, I mean, it is but great bourbon, not, but even if just for like a conversation piece, I just think it's cool, like look at that stick. In yeah, that's one of the things, like, it's it's really cool conversation piece, it's a great company, um, as far as the guys that started it, and then of course yeah. with the 5% going to the military charities, that's always a that's big thing. That's a so, huge thing. Thumbs up for me for yeah, sure. So, um, so that's been our, our sipping and review of Big Stick, and really, um, really enjoyed having you sip with me tonight. We do this a lot at our house, just kind of sipping bourbon and okay. chit chatting and stuff. And yeah, I'm like, come on, be on the video with me. So, uh, you guys hopefully, been asking, asking, and I'm just like, hopefully, we um, can get her to come on every so often. We've got some <laughs> bourbons up here that we're going to be doing reviews on that I know she'll want to. to be in on so hopefully we can get you to come back and, and do another video with us yep. all right okay all right so this is bourbon rendezvous and i will catch you on the next one my name's mike the cat and i approve this message <laughs>